Okay, just a quick one. I've just come across a, another respin remix of Ubuntu that I've never actually heard of called Ubuntu VN. Um, it seems to be using Cinnamon as its desktop environment, though they've changed it quite a bit. It kind of looks a bit like Deepin. So you have the one panel sort of set up at the bottom and then there's no panel at the top. And then if you press this button, it will reveal, you know, sort of your clock there. You've got some weather widgets, sound and network, and then we've got some running programs in the background. So if we was to press that again, that would disappear. So you don't even need to press it. You can just hover over it and it will disappear. Um, I know absolutely nothing about this. So we're gonna have a very quick run through and see what it's all about. So we have a menu here with categories to the left. Let's see what it comes installed with. So we get Google Chrome as a web browser. It has Nautilus and it has Nemo, the file manager. And we have the full LibreOffice suite. It's got Lollipop, the music player. I installed OBS myself. Shotwell, startup applications, VLC media player. So it's got a YouTube link there. It's probably just a web wrapper. Yep, for Google Chrome. So that will open up YouTube in a web wrapper. What was that there? Oh, that's just a full screen. Okay, this is um, an interesting little respin, to say the least. So let's have a look at if there's any updates to get. So what are the repos there? It's got a Bamboo Engine. It's got the Fockle ones. It's got the Chrome one for Google Chrome. Yeah, this is a weird one really. So what's this V? Is that Vivaldi or what is this? No, that's some bamboo thing. So it's got different languages we can select here as well. So I quite like the theming though. It's an interesting little theme that we're, we're going. So let's open up the appearance and see what this theme actually is. So it might be one of their own themes. Um, what is it on Cinnamon? Just go into the system settings and find it in there. So here we go, themes. Right, so it's using its own theme for the window border called Ubuntu VN Lite. So do they have a dark? They do indeed. Um, it's using the flat remix icons. So let's change this one to dark as well. And it's got its own mouse pointer. And let's change this to the dark theme as well and see how that all looks together. Huh. I actually think it's quite nice looking, you know, it really does remind me of Deepin in a way. So let's go onto their website and see if we can find anything out about this distribution. VN.com. Oh, we've done VS. I do believe that is the URL. There we go. So Home Ubuntu UVN Remix or Respin. Uh, so a full screen doesn't get rid of, that's not full, because the wallpaper is the same as that, that's spinning me out. Let me just change the wallpaper a moment. So do we have any wallpapers anywhere? So Debian wallpaper, let's just go for that for now. Uh, it's got a little wallpaper.com at the bottom though. Um, let's go for that. Is that another Debian wallpaper? Okay, we'll just leave it like that for now. So I'm gonna full screen this and it doesn't appear to hide this panel or anything. So I wonder if we can sort that out. So we've gone to panel settings. There we go. So we can do intelligently hide panel and then when we're in a full screen application that should disappear. Yeah. So it's standard cinnamon panel by the looks of it. They've just sort of shrinked it in the space of a dock. And then as I say, they've added these extension parts here to open it up or to expand it. Interesting. Okay, so they have a they have a YouTube channel, but none of it appears to be in English, so there's not much that we can really do there. Um, so it's based on Ubuntu LTS, so this is the latest Ubuntu LTS 20.04. Weird. I'm wondering why I've never heard of this. It does look nice with the dark theming now, I will say that. So is there anything about this actual distro in this... Um, here we go, Vozin. What's Vozin? Vozin.pro. Okay, these are some forums. Again, I can't read any of this. Huh. So it's got a bit of a delay there for the panel. It doesn't come up as quickly as I would like. Do we have any way of changing how quickly it does? No, so it's got no delay there. Okay, we'll leave that like that. Let's see how this whole desktop setup then. Do we have Windows snapping? We do. Let's open up another program. 
let's open up we've got a show desktop button there as well do we yeah we do let's open up so what's Zalo it looks like another web wrapper for something web dialogue Zalo okay I'm not gonna let that load oh, it's loading already okay some sort of chat thing where it wants your number again I have no idea what that says so we're not going to worry about that so let's open up LibreOffice Writer I do like the icon theming though let's close that and let's put that side by side with Nemo and see how that looks together not bad and what version are we getting should be one of the latest versions so it's version 6.4.3.2 okay so is there any multimedia applications installed out of the box? It doesn't appear to have anything like GIMP or anything like that, does it? Okay, so there's some, quite a bit of a delay on the search here. Or does it flash when it doesn't find anything? Let's do that again. So type in GIMP. It will flash for a few seconds, so I guess that means it's not found anything. So let's try Themes, because we know Themes is there. So let's see if our suspicion is correct. So type in Themes. Oh, what's happened there? We've done a funny E. Why is it doing that? Let's just do Fem. Enter. Okay, I'm not sure. There we go. So it's now opened that up. So it's quite a delayed search, this. This is a very interesting distribution, to be honest with you. Let's see what else we've got here. So we've got the extensions for Cinnamon here. So it's going to have transparency enabled, I'm going to imagine, for this panel, isn't it? Let's just refresh our cache. So it's got nothing in Manage. So if we go back into the panel settings here a moment. So we can make it the whole screen. No, we can't. That's the wrong way. So that was on 40, wasn't it? Oh, we can bring it back even smaller, to be fair. Okay. So allow the pointer to pass through the edges of the panel, panel edit mode, add a new panel, applets, hmm. This is a very strange cinnamon implementation, you know. Let's get out of panel edit mode. So it does really look like Deepin, doesn't it? So we come with the GNOME software store here. The name free desktop FUWPD provided not by any dot service. And does it have snap or flat packs installed out of the box? Let's have a look at this terminal as well. Okay, so it's got the sort of greenish terminal colours there. If we go into the preferences, we can see what they've actually done with the colour theming. So it's using a custom colour palette there, and the text is a bright green. Do we have HTOP installed? We don't. So we're going to install HTOP. And we're also going to check to see if it's got snap or flat pack, for example. So it does have snap installed, but there are no slap snaps that are currently installed on the system. And what about flat pack? So there's no flat pack installed out of the box, it's just snap that it's got installed. So I wonder if it has the snap plugin in the store as well. So let's search for Chromium. It does, so that'll be a snap. No, the source is Ubuntu VN. So do they maintain their own .deb? No, it is a snap. So if we change the source to, okay, so it's all snap source sources here. So if we go to the Snapcraft, and there we go, so we're in the snap store now. Very interesting indeed. So do we have any switch workspaces out of the box? We do, so it has the standard Cinnamon workspace switching installed out of the box. So these are our running applications. So this is running in the background. I'm not sure what, what iBus Bamboo is though, to be honest with you. Let's get rid of that. So let's open up um, LibreOffice again. Go away. Let's just click that. Oh, right, okay. I have no idea what that says, so we're just gonna pretend that we know what that is. <laughs> okay, so it's a bit weird that we can't get that to go away. Go away. Right, so we're now on English. Can't seem to get that to disappear though, can we? No, it's uh, 
a bit buggy that it's not doing anything this is a very strange Ubuntu remix and I'm surprised it's one I've never heard of I think visually it looks really nice but there's too it's too much mystery for me that I don't really know what's going on here so that's for your windows tiling for side by side there we go we got rid of that now so why is that that shouldn't that shouldn't be auto hiding that should be intelligent hide let's have a look intelligently hide right so that'll stay there so if we go near it yeah it's still there okay cool we also have a calendar here looks like just the standard gnome calendar it is indeed okay so things don't like to close do they close well, I've just alt f 4 out of that one and then my panels disappeared again this is very strange let me see what htop is saying okay so we can't see anything because of the color scheme that they've gone for so let's just quit this a moment and change the color scheme a moment so let's just go for a built-in scheme on the palette here for say solarized and then change this to solarized as well right so we're using 1.8 gig but we have got OBS running. I'm going to do a quick reboot and just get a RAM reading. We're not going to spend too much time on this distribution. I just thought it would be interesting to share with you guys what I'd found here. So we've got a Gmail app which again will be a web wrapper. Huh. And what else is there before we do a reboot? I do like the icons though. I don't think they're their own though, they're the flat icons. So what's the videos? Is this just GNOME videos or Totem? Yeah, so this is known videos or totem. Right, what we're going to do is do a reboot, stop the recording now, and we'll just sort of check the RAM out. But it's not going to be a long video, this one. I just thought I'd let you guys know about this Ubuntu respin that I've just come across. Okay, we're back. I'm not too sure what this sort of respin is all about, to be honest with you, but I've grabbed a screenshot of the RAM usage. What does it want a password for? I have no idea. I think it's for Chrome, actually. So it's not opened that image in an image viewer. Do we have an image viewer? Let's have a look. Let's go to open with other applications. Okay, so we've got Shotwell. I don't know why it's using Google Chrome as the default to open an image, but there we go. Now it's detected all of my displays. So yeah, it was quite heavy to be honest. It's using 924 megabytes of RAM, which for Cinnamon isn't great. I'm actually a bit miffed about this, to be honest with you. If anyone knows anything about this distribution, let me know in the comments below. It's got the standard Ubuntu installer and it's given us a two gig swap file. I do like the theme and the way it looks though. It's one of the more interesting implementations of Cinnamon that I think I've seen in quite a while. So it defaults to that view in your in Nemo. Let's open up Nautilus and see what Nautilus looks like on here. Hold on a minute. So we've got files Nautilus and files Nemo. So we've got Nemo open. Right, so now that is Nautilus that we're on. Just the theming's thrown me off a bit. So if we go into about files, yeah, so this is Nautilus. And here's Nemo. So Nautilus appears to be the default file manager. Let's have a look. If we close all of them and see what one's stuck to the panel. So this is Nautilus. So Nautilus is your default file manager. And it defaults to that view. Huh. I don't like this icon here for the sort of launcher. I guess that's the, uh, the Vozin, whatever Vozin is. Let's open this Windows. Okay, this is just a Windows thing for Cinnamon. Text editor is get it. Yep, G edit, get it. And is there anything else here that I want to take a look at before we end the video? Startup application, shot well. Preferred applications, let's have a look at why images is opening up in yeah, see, so photos is set to Google Chrome. It's quite a strange choice, if you ask me. PDFs open up in Document Viewer. Documents is LibreOffice Writer, and the Music and Videos is opening up in Music. Shouldn't that be Lollipop? And then we can make that VLC. This is a very strange distro. 
I think there's something to it though. I think if you could slim this down a bit and not make it so heavy and you know deselect some of these packages that are installed out of the box you could get quite a nice looking sort of alternative to deep in just using cinnamon as your desktop environment okay so this is um an interesting one if you know anything about it leave me a comment below so i can have a little read about it um in, in english preferably uh, thank you for watching if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe and i'll see you on the next one Bye bye